Now we're going to do some application problems with adding and subtracting polynomials. So here in our first problem we have subtract 4x from 7x minus 3. Now we need to understand the wording first. When we subtract something from something else, that means that we're taking it away from something. So to write this we'd have to take something and then take away 4x. Well, that 7x minus 3 is what we're going to take it away from. So when we rewrite that, that becomes 7x minus 3 minus 4x. Now these parentheses really don't mean anything. We can't combine these terms. There's nothing to distribute. So if we were to rewrite this without the parentheses, it would technically mean the same exact thing. So if I rewrite that, now I have 7x minus 3 minus 4x, and now we can combine like terms. Our like terms here are our x terms. We have 7x, and we also have a 4x, a negative 4x, rather. So when we combine those, that becomes 3x, and then our constant term is minus 3. We can't combine that any further, so that's our answer. The next one tells us to subtract this from a sum. Well, when we subtract something from, that means we have to do minus 3x squared minus 4. And what are we taking it away from? We're taking it away from a sum, which means an addition of two things. And what two things are we adding together? We're adding these two polynomials together. These two trinomials we're adding together. So when we write it out, it will look like this. We're adding these two trinomials together and then subtracting from that this binomial. When we add, the parentheses don't really add anything to it, but when we subtract, we have to be very careful that we do that distribution. So if I rewrite this problem, getting rid of the parentheses, we have x squared minus 9x plus 2 plus 2x squared minus 6x plus 1 minus 3x squared and then negative times negative is a positive 4. Now we can combine our like terms. So the first terms that we have that are alike are these x squareds. We have a 1 of them plus 2 of them would be 3 of them minus 3 of them those all cancel out so we do not have any x squareds at all. Next would be our x terms. We have a negative 9x and a negative 6x. So when we combine those, that would be a negative 15x. And then we have our constant terms. We have 2 plus 1 would be 3 plus 4 would be 7. We can't combine any further, so that's our final answer. Lastly, we have this wor uh, beautiful word problem here. It says a piece of quarter round molding is 13x minus 7. That's the length of this entire piece of, of wood here, this molding. It says if a piece 2x plus 2 is removed, well, that's this piece right here. They're taking this piece and removing it. They want to know the length of the remaining piece of the molding. That's this part that's left over. That's the part that we don't know. When we remove something, that's a subtraction. So we need to write this as taking the full length of molding, which is 13x minus 7, and we're going to subtract off that part we're taking out, which is 2x plus 2. And because we're subtracting, we do have to distribute so that becomes 13x minus 7 minus 2x minus 2. And now we collect like terms. 13x and negative 2x would be 11x. And then negative 7 and negative 2 would be negative 9. This is the size of the piece that's missing.